these are suspects arrested for the murder of a 20-year-old Sophia Atkende in Okearegba area of Abe Okuta. The young girl who was caught down in her prime was a girlfriend to one of the suspects. The Ogun State Police Public Relations Officer says the suspects lured the victim to their place before carrying out their plans. The four of them, they are here. They have confessed to the crime. The pot you are seeing in front of them, that is the pot they use in burning the head of that innocent young gay who was caught down in a prime. Simply because some people want to get rich quick. It's a very, very disturbing incident because this can only be described as the superlative degree of callousness. The suspects confirmed that they killed the girl for money ritual and that they got the information on how to carry out the illicit act on the internet. Second time I told, him, I told Mr. Kim that Sova came to my house and he just told me that that girl, you know, is not a good girl. Let us use her. That. Mr. Kim told me that he has something in his phone that called Oshole. That called Oshole. And Mr. Kim, uh, I'm not saying that Oshole. Where you do see it, he said that he's, he, he's seen it on Facebook and he screenshots it. I sit on Sophia and I'm, I'm, I take her hand to play. Suddenly Mr. Kim take knife to drag her neck. The founding father's dreams to establishing Taraba State University is now being realized by the Ishaku's administration. The institution, rated as one of the leading universities in the country in 2021 by the AUC, at this convocation, at 49 first class, 2,462nd class upper, 3,983nd class lower, 793rd class, 20 passes divisions. It also recorded 106 postgraduates, 311 master's degrees, and one PhD holder among 8,440 graduates. The first class students were given automatic employment. In the magnanimity and caring attitude, of the rescue captain, the executive governor of Taraba State, and visitor to TSU, all our first class graduates who are interested in academics would be employed. Governor Dallas Ishako disclosed that the state government has started some projects in the institution to improve teaching and learning, listing a 700 capacity lecture theater among the ACE projects. He commended the council, senior staff and students for keeping faith in their academic pursuit despite the trying times. My administration believes that it is its moral duty and responsibility to prepare and provide Tarabans and other citizens living among us with the necessary knowledge and skills to be active participants on the global stage. Another new entrant to the widening circle of the presidential aspirants. Senator Rochas Okurocha has joined the race for the top job in Asurok as he hopes to succeed President Muhammadu Buhari. Me. At this formal declaration ceremony in Abuja, because the Imo state lawmaker says if elected, his priority will be to reunite Nigeria. He believes this is a foundational curse of the many troubles the country currently deals with. The mood of our nation today calls for a leader in 2023 that can unite this country and give everybody a sense of belonging. If I say I will unite this country, believe me, I will do so. I'm not saying I will, I will. I'm saying I've done that already. There's no part of this country or zone you will go without seeing my signature. And I challenge all those coming to contest with me to show what they have done in uniting this country. Not I will. Senator Okorocha insists there's hope for new Nigeria and he has the capacity to guide the country through the path of economic growth and prosperity. Our proper business shall be business of development and improvement. In the times of peace, we shall advance the art of peace and the works of peace. We shall cut forth our land and develop the resources of our land. The new Nigeria 
Basically, it's meant to help the poor, the needy, the downtrodden, and ensuring that our leaders and those who are privileged are not let alone. New Nigeria shall write the principles of democracy, and we shall no longer define democracy as the government of the people, by the people, and for the people. 